it is week, uh, well, week 12 now. Week 11 and week 12 is this week's video. As you can see, I'm not doing so hot today. Uh, it's been a roller coaster two weeks. I thought for a while I was over the morning sickness. I had two awesome days. I was up and about. I was doing dishes, making food for my family. And then crash, bang, boom, I hit a low again. And just finding food to eat is um, uh, a full-time task. Food that will stay in place, stay in place in my gut. Chicken soup seems to be a thing that works most of the time, where I can at least keep it down. It kind of puts me to sleep, which was nice, really nice, because I'm not sleeping so hot. Um, rye crisp. What else? <laughs> uh, occasionally a veggie burger, maybe. I tried a hamburger, and oh, the grease in that was just, oh, it put me out for the rest of the day. It was awful. Tasted good, going down, and then it was awful. So, be sick shot. I'm getting one tonight. Thankfully, I've got some family with the skills, and so, be sick shot tonight. Oh, I look forward to it, because this has been a rough few days um, on homeopathics. I'm getting a few supplements down. I'm thinking I'm going to look into the Isogenics, um, ugh, what is it called? It's like the vitamin drink, not the cleanse, just the vitamin drink, just to get the nutrients in my body, because I've lost mm, 10 to 15 pounds. I'm so glad that this first trimester is almost over. I think there's a light at the end of the tunnel, I hope, where my appetite and my ability to keep food in me actually is sustainable. Oftentimes in the evening I get really, that's when my morning sickness hit, it's evening sickness. And so I end up sleeping, sitting upright, right here, on the couch. Yeah. And then about three o'clock in the morning after a, a light bowl of cereal, I head downstairs to sleep on the futon because my bedroom still has that odor of dead mice. My poor husband. <sighs> Thankfully, he'll come and snuggle with me in the morning before he heads to work, which I'm grateful for. But this has just been mm, more intense than any of my other pregnancies ever have been. Uh, else? What else do I eat? Anyway, there you go. That's the scoop for 11 and 12.